I farm and I sell seed. I restore antique farm equipment and um, I was working on a WD9 International. I've been working on this thing off and on for 16 years. I'm within 40 hours of finishing it and I get diagnosed with cancer. And I thought, I have cancer? Really? I guess this is just how it's going to be. We're going to continue to work on the tractor until we can't go anymore. I stopped in to uh, Tracy Klein, the, the doctor, uh, Palmara. She suggested I go to see a urologist, Dr. Holland, at Blessing Health System. About a week later, Dr. Holland called and said, uh, yeah, there's signs of cancer here. Fortunately, we caught it early. Dr. Lieber and I visited about it, and, and he assured me that he could get the cancerous prostate out. And I trusted him that he could. So we kind of went on. I was still working on the tractor. I worked on it up until about 6 p.m. the night before surgery. I could have pushed it and got it done, but I kind of thought, no, I'm going to just leave this unfinished because when I get back up, I can finish this. Wear this hat, it says Rocky on it. Uh, it and I know it, it's all uh, uh, Hollywood, but Rocky uh, basically always got up. Uh, I've had quite a few health issues in the past. Um, I'm still here, I, I, I just continue to get up. I, I hope Rocky continues to get up in his older age because I certainly plan on. Drawing back a little bit and focusing my mind and my attention on myself, was what it took for me to do this. I did not even tell my children that this was going on until the night before surgery. Here's how I put it. I said, I have cancer today. With any luck tomorrow, I will not have cancer. Tried to stay in just as absolutely positive about everything as I could. After a month of Dr. Lieber telling me to sit down, I was able to get up and, and eased into it and worked on it and finally finished it about the third week of March. It's just part of this journey. The light blue color for the ribbon is, is the color for uh, prostate cancer. Somebody may come up and ask, oh, what's the light blue ribbon mean? And I can go into the, to the story of, of what it means and why you should get tested. So. If that helps someone be a little more comfortable going to get a test for prostate cancer, that is my goal for this, to try to just be comfortable, go get the test, and if, if it comes back negative, it's no problem. If it comes back positive, you know you can deal with it then, and hopefully catch things early and it's much easier to deal with. Surround yourself with positive people, surround yourself with professionals, you can get through this. I did. Everything's going good. I feel good. I'm back to doing 99 plus percent of what I was doing before. Had a, had a lot of hands in this to get me to this point, and I, I greatly appreciate that. Here I am, and um, I hope I will continue to be here for quite some time to come.